Hi, I'm Lauren from Daily Candy and I'm here with Tiago Silva and we're at Catch Restaurant in the Meatpacking District of Manhattan. We're going to be making Tiago's famous peanut butter pops. Peanut butter pops, <laughs> frozen peanut butter pops. I'm telling you, all the Daily Candy girls have been talking about these, so there are some pretty excited ladies around the office. Okay, so you need peanut butter and you don't need some fancy pants, expensive peanut butter. No, go for the Skippies, man. Like Skippies from your PB&Js from elementary school. That's awesome. That's it. Works the best. First thing we do to the peanut butter is we add the corn syrup. So we'll mix that in right away. Uh, we now add the heavy cream that's not whipped. Just want to get it nice and mixed and smooth. Just soft so it blends well, right? Yes. So we're gonna take the soft whipped cream yep. and we're gonna put a little bit of it, probably like a fourth of it, okay. right into this. And then we're gonna fold it. So once it's all combined and it's nice and smooth, we're gonna make a little meringue with the egg whites. And you're just gonna pour them right into the mixer? Right into the mixer. Cool. But you can totally do it by hand, use a handheld mixer. It doesn't have to be this big, monstrous mixer we right. have. So it's totally doable at home. No excuses, guys. <laughs> no excuses not to have these. So we want to whip this until it becomes nice and frothy. You want it to look almost like the top of a nice cold beer. Yeah. And as soon as that happens, you want to add and throw in your, your sugar, little by little, your super fine sugar. Soft whip, soft meringue. We're adding all that meringue that we just whipped, and you're gonna fold again. <laughs> all right, do I wanna eat this right now? Yes. Yes, make sure there's no lumps anywhere. So the last part of this cream is adding the rest of your whipped cream. soft whipped cream. There we go, we're gonna keep folding, and then we're gonna whip it up a little bit with a whisk you know, to make sure everything's nice and mixed. So and this is just kosher salt, two teaspoons. Once you add that, you'll fold it right in. That's the mousse. That's it? That's it. All right, now cool. it's time to put it in the bowl. When you're using the bag, you want to go all the way to the bottom. Make sure you're not getting any air pockets in there. And go all the way to the top. There you go. So if you don't have a pastry bag, you can just use a um, Ziploc bag, right? Yeah, a Ziploc bag would, would be great. If you fill it up, cut the corner out. Nice. I also tap this down a little bit, get some of that extra air out. Yep. And not to make it flat, and use a spatula. All right, so the next step is we're putting in the skewers. Now we're just gonna pop them in the freezer. Uh, they're gonna set up within four hours. You can pop them out, dip them in chocolate, and good to go. Now to make the chocolate dip, all we're using for, for this particular dip is uh, about 58% chocolate, which is kind of like a bittersweet or semi-sweet. Uh -huh. And uh, we add the same amount of chocolate as cocoa butter. So you melt them in equal parts and mix them, and you have this nice, thin, uh, chocolate, so it's almost like a magic shell, real thin and crisp uh, around the mousse. So we have our crunchies. What are crunchies? Crunchies are many things. What I use is called fouilletine. It's a brick dough, French brick dough, but you can get just some sugar cones from ice creams, or you can get a cookie you like or something like that. Just crunch it all up yeah. and throw it right into here, and that's pretty much your crunchies. That's your crunchies. Is crunchies the real official term? For me, yeah. For, <laughs> For me, it is too. What's then. better than crunchy? Agreed. Look at that crunchy here. waterfall. All right, so you got your frozen uh, yep. peanut butter mousse pops. And you go right in there. And that's it. Look how cute that is. It's a little baby peanut butter pop. <laughs> Serve them with some berry jam. Oh, that's a good idea. So it's kind of like a PB and J. And it's a nice summer treat. That's pretty good. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.